Alright, hey everybody, Mayo here, and today we're going to be going over some of our Pokemon battles that we had in the VGC 2016 January International Challenge within the Masters Division. So, I don't really quite remember what happened through all these battles, so I'm just going to be commentating it as if, you know, I'm not the one playing. So let's go ahead and get right into this battle. Alright, we have Dennis issuing a challenge. Dennis is going to send out his Kangaskhan and Xerneas for his lead here. And Mayo is going to send out his Groudon and Cresselia. So let's see what's going to happen here. The Xerneas is radiating that Fairy Aura, which does give the 30, about 30% 30 increased damage to all Fairy-type moves on the field. Groudon is going to become Primal. Getting that Desolate Lands up, making Water moves unable to be used here. And we are going to see that Kangaskhan become Mega Kangaskhan. Alright, so what is going to happen here? Kangaskhan is going to use a Fake Out onto the Cresselia, stopping any potential Trick Room or Skill Swap shenanigans for the first turn. And we are going to see a Geomancy here from that Xerneas, which, due to the Power Herb that it has, will... Be fully charged in one turn, giving it plus two to its special attack, special defense, and speed. Alright, there we go. Special attack, special defense, and speed have rose sharply. Groudon goes for a Precipice Blades here. We're going to see that Kangaskhan and Xerneas take about 50% damage with that turn. Priscilla unable to do anything due to the, the fake out. Groudon going for Protect here. Xerneas goes for Dazzling Gleam, Groudon protects itself. And how much damage will that Cresselia take from it? Quite a bit of damage, and then a power-up punch from that Kangaskhan onto the Cresselia, so he is going to get plus two thanks to the Parental Bond ability. So we have both those two Pokemon set up very strong right now. And Cresselia is going to get this Trick Room off though, so that will help out Mayo with some speed control. Alright, and then Cresselia does get a move first due to that Trick Room now. Gets a Skill Swap off onto that Groudon, allowing Groudon to have the ability Levitate, and Cresselia to now have the ability Desolate Lands, meaning that Groudon loses that Ground Weakness as long as there's nothing to stop the Levitate ability. Goes for another Precipice Blades here, taking out that Kangaskhan and Xerneas. So we are going to see those two Pokémon fall now. So, Mayo looks like he's in a pretty good position right now, but this is Pokemon and anything could happen. Alright, he does send out his Cresselia and Groudon now. So, I guess it all depends on the speed here, as they are a Primal Groudon as well. All depends on the speed here within the Trick Room now to see whose Pokemon go first, because he could potentially do a skill... Oh, we have a skill swap coming out from Mayo onto that Cresselia. A good play there, stopping any potential skill swap to the other Groudon, causing Desolate Lands to be on both of those two Pokemon, and Levitate to be on both of Mayo's Pokemon now. Meaning, Mayo's Pokemon can no longer be affected by a, a potential Precipice Blades here. And there is the Cresselia getting that skill swap, so as you guys can see, oh, he goes for a Fire Punch on the Cresselia. What could happen here? So it is a physical Groudon, and he sends out his Salamans here, getting that Intimidate off onto the opposing Groudon, lowering its attack. And lowering Cresselia's attack, however, Cresselia generally has special attack moves, so I don't think that matters that much. We will see that Salamance go Mega. And we will see the opposing Groudon protect here. We will see this Groudon, our Mayo's Groudon, go for a Precipice Blades. Is it, is it enough to take out Cresselia? No, it's not. Not enough. And we will see an Ice Beam come out here. That'll probably be enough to take out that Salamance. As he is four times weak to it. Yes, it is enough to take out that Salamance. Alright, so... It looks like it's down to Groudon, Ferrothorn... Against his Groudon and... Cresselia, we see a Power Whip come out, taking out that Groudon, and Groudon going for a Precipice Blades yet again, 
taken out that Cresselia. All right, so Mayo was the victor for this match. He did defeat Dennis, but Dennis did play very well. He had a, a pretty scary lead at, at the start of the game with a plus two on his Xerneas and his Kangaskhan. All right, so we will go ahead and take a look at one more match that was in the January 2016 International Challenge within the Masters Division. All right, unfortunately, I cannot read the name of player two. So we see a Groudon Cresselia lead come out from Mayo again. And player two leads with a Gengar and Lipard. That's a pretty scary lead. They have a lot of possibilities of what they could potentially do. It could be Mega Gengar. It could be a supportive Gengar. It could be just a special attacking Gengar. A lot of things in that Lyapard is generally a supportive Pokemon and has a lot of tricky shenanigans up its sleeve. We are going to see a withdraw on the Gengar though right off the bat. And he is switching in the Kyogre which will switch up the weather type. So if Mayo did go for any fire type moves, they are no longer going to be uh, going to be able to be used as Primordial Sea will stop all fire moves from being used. Oh, he goes for a protect though. Groudon protected itself. It went for a fake out onto the Cresselia. Cresselia flinched and couldn't move. He's going to switch his Groudon out. Doesn't want his Groudon out there in the Primordial Sea. Switches into Ferrothorn. A pretty common Pokemon used to deal with the Kyogre. Then a foul play onto that Cresselia with a critical hit doing quite a bit of damage. We see a Water Spout come out from the Kyogre, which is enough to pick up the KO on Cresselia. But it's not very effective onto Ferrothorn, but it does do a lot of damage to that Ferrothorn. And we will see Groudon come out now, which should change up the weather with a Desolate Lands ability meaning that water moves can no longer be used. So we're probably going to see it yet. We do see a switch from that Kyogre into a Rayquaza. And a foul play coming out onto that Ferrothorn with a critical hit yet again from that foul play from that Lipard. But Lipard will take some Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet damage. We see Groudon going for a Precipice Blades here. And it looks like that Lipard avoided the attack from the Precipice Blades. And Rayquaza takes a Power Whip that's too much, but he doesn't take any damage from the previous Precipice Blades because of the Flying type. Sunlight now fades out, and we see Salamance come in. Getting an Intimidate off onto the Lipard and the Rayquaza. All right, it looks like the Rayquaza is going to become Mega Rayquaza. All right, so the Delta Stream coming out. Mysterious Air Current is protecting Flying-type Pokemon, meaning that Flying-type Pokemon are no longer affected from the bonus damage from super effective moves. I believe they just become neutral. We see a Dragon Ascent onto the, onto the Salamance. And unfortunately, oh, the Salamance hangs on. The Salamance survives that hit. And we do see that the Mega Rayquaza has a life orb because he did lose some HP. We're seeing this Salamance go Mega now. And we see another Dragon Ascent from that Mega Rayquaza. Probably taking out that Salamance, possibly even the Parathorn. Nope, goes for the Salamance. Takes him out. Alright, let's see what's going to happen next. He goes for a foul play onto the Ferrothorn slot, as that's the only Pokemon left out on the field currently. Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet will do some damage to the Lipard, but Mayo does not seem to be in a good position this game. Sends out his Groudon. Alright, what's going to happen here? Because that Lipard has been doing quite a bit of damage with some foul plays. 
We see a dragon ascent from the Rayquaza. That Groudon is going to hang on. That Rayquaza does have its special defense and defense lowered quite a bit from all the dragon ascents it used, but we will see a foul play here from the Lipard will be enough. No, Groudon still barely hangs on. It gets a Thunder Punch off onto the Rayquaza. But as Groudon's speed has been shown to be slower than both these poke both the uh, Pokemon out on the field. I don't know if it was shown to be slower than Kyogre. But we can assume that Yep, we see a forfeit. Alright, so. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna bring back the like the live battles, the Pokemon VGC prep. Probably either Probably either today or tomorrow, depending on. Maybe later today. Or at least tomorrow. But I wanted to get all of my international challenge battles I had, commentate over them, and just upload them. Just because I thought it'd be kind of enjoyable to do for myself and possibly for uh, viewers as well. If you guys had any international challenge battles that you saved on the verse recorder and have the code, go ahead and leave it in the like the comment below. And I will gladly review it and commentate over it as I think that'd be a whole lot of fun to see other people's teams and how other people played. So uh, as I was saying, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, go hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that good stuff. And goodbye, friends.